Hey everybody, hope you're having a good day. I have a fun little technique I wanna walk you through today. Let me just scrub through this, and you can see that this is just a very basic animating on type technique. And the cool thing about this is we can actually do this with completely still images, and with just a few keyframes we can add a lot of interest. So the basic fundamentals are we're gonna use two different renders, a clay render, which is kind of like a sort of an ambient inclusion, black and white type render. And then we're gonna have a final full color uh, render. And then in between, we're going to need something to transition between these two. And you can see that we're transitioning from the back to the front really nicely. And we're gonna use a Z depth pass and a couple keyframes to do that. So I'll go ahead and show you uh, the After Effects part really quick first. And then we're gonna jump into Cinema 40 and set this up. So let's jump into this pre comp. So like I mentioned, there's only three different layers. The uh, first one is that clay render. The second one is, if I turn this one on here, the second one is this full color render. And then the third one, if we double click that one, this is our Z depth pass, which we're gonna control with the levels. So let's go ahead and jump into our Z depth one right now. And I actually put a invert on here. So if you, uh, let's go ahead and solo this one. So the invert is just going to invert which colors are going where. So I did that really quickly. So if we look at the Z depth pass, you can see that we're animating this Z depth from the back to the front, and we're only going to be using a levels to do that. So if we play around with these sliders, you can see that the bottom ones are basically crushing that Z depth pass, and we're gonna keep it somewhat flat so it's not too hard of an edge. You can play around with that. But the top one is gonna be pushing that Z depth pass backward or forward. You can see if we move this around, we're moving the kind of the position of where that color is gonna come on. And all you have to do is put a keyframe in the beginning and then at the end, just animate this through. And then the uh, secret sauce is turning off that Z depth, putting the color render underneath it and changing the color render to Luma inverted matte. And it's gonna use that, uh, that Z depth as a matte for the alpha. And if we do that, you can see that the color is just gonna kind of bleed on. So it's a very simple process, but kind of a handy little technique to add some spice to your renders. All right, so we're gonna jump into Cinema 4D and set this up quick. All right, so I'm gonna go over how to do this in regular old Cinema 4D render, and then we'll jump into Octane and I'll show you that. So first off, we have a camera and we need to add Z depth to it. So the way we're gonna do that is under the Details tab, we have Depth of Field here. We're just gonna worry about the rear blur. So turn on rear blur. You'll notice that we have this extra section here. This part right here is going to be the front of your scene. So we'll drag that before the first cube. And then this part is the rear blur. So we need to make sure that covers the whole scene. So our whole scene is included in this camera. And then let's go to our render settings. And what we're gonna do is go to multi-pass and under depth, we're gonna add the depth and turn on multi-pass. Now, if we hit render, you can see that if you go to our layers panel and click single passes, you can see our various layers that we rendered and our depth pass is exactly what we wanted. So we have dark in front and it kind of fades and bleeds into the back. To do the clay render, it's also very easy. I added a purple texture to everything in the scene just to demonstrate, but to make a clay render, it's uh, just a couple clicks. All you have to do is go to your render settings and we have a material override. And if we check that on, we have a custom material slot Let's make a new material and we'll drag it into that custom material slot. And if we hit render, you'll notice that everything is not purple, but it has been overridden by this one material. So everything in your scene in one click will become that clay texture. And you can play around with this clay texture, maybe add some ambient occlusion to get it nice looking, but that's how you do the clay render. Super easy with this material override. And that's it. All you have to do is do the clay render and a Z depth and a full color, jump in After Effects and play around with that and you're good to go. All right, so second up, we're gonna jump into Octane and I'll show you how to do it in Octane. First of all, we're gonna render out this color version and then we need to talk about Z depth and then clay render. Let's go to the clay render first and you'll notice that we have a little button here and it says clay modes. If we hit this, you're gonna notice that we're toggling through stuff and it turns it into clay. The problem with this is though, if we hit render, let me go ahead and fire up a render. So you can see that even though we have clay set in our viewer, in our final render, it's still color. And that's pretty frustrating, but it is just one little uh, setting that you need to make sure to check. So go into your render settings, go to Octane Render, and under clay rendering, change that from none to gray. And if you do that, then it's gonna render out this clay image. All right, let's talk about the last missing component, which is the Z depth pass. All we have to do is go from direct lighting into info channels. And under info channels, we have a bunch of different types. Make sure that Z depth is checked. 
And what we're gonna do is, since we can't see anything but white, we're gonna play with our Z depth max slider. Just make sure that you're not um, overexposing it or underexposing it. Make it really flat so that you have kind of a murky looking image, but you have all the data in this image in the background and the foreground. And then you can really crush this and dial it in with levels and After Effects. So that's it for the Z depth pass and the clay render in Octane and Cinema 4D. Super easy to set up. Then you just jump in After Effects, do a little bit of compositing, play around with the sliders, and you can get a pretty cool result quickly. Hope you guys found that useful. As always, thank you for checking out the Pixlab. We'll talk to you next time. Ciao.